Hello everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and I'm going to uh, have another tutorial on Paint.net, and it's going to be on uh, hardwood floor texturing. Uh, you don't have to go this far. I'm going to show you a few other things that you can do, but this is, I guess, the how it would look in a house, maybe? Not sure. But uh, let's quickly go through this so I can get on some Black Ops. So yeah. Start a new one here. I'm going to create a new layer, Get grab our gradient tool, and uh, we can, if we choose the from, let's say, lightish gray to white, and create our gradient here, should I use a slightly darker one, that is good. Okay, so we have our gradient there, now uh, we're going to add some effects, we're going to go to effects, uh, noise, add noise and um, we're gonna add noise obviously and you can do whatever you want here but you want to make sure that your color saturation is at zero uh, if it's not the hardwood floor will look rainbowy rainbow-esque and uh, that's not how hardwood floors look like well not in my house but um mess around with what you want you want a lighter softer hardwood you go with a lower intensity and I'll put it around 80, should be good. Coverage, eh, looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to render that out. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is apply a motion blur. So if we go to effects, uh, blurs, and motion blur, we can apply a motion blur to this. And it does take quite a while to render. Uh, for your motion blur, you want to make sure your angle is at zero and then mess around with the distance however you want. Um, that looks a little not right to me, so I put it, let's say, 67. I think that looks good. And we'll hit OK, and it has to render out. So, yeah. All right, so we have that right now. And the next thing we're going to add is a new layer again, and this time... Uh, this layer is going to be a solid color. I am going to use brown because that is the color of hardwood floors that I see. So um, I'm going to get a color here. Uh, can't find a good brown. That looks okay. We'll use that. We'll grab our paint bucket and just paint right over it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now um, uh, we have to mess around with our layer properties to make it look how you want. Um, lots of uh, things you can do here. That overlay looks pretty, pretty correct in my book. Like that, you know, like all that stuff. But before we do that, I'm going to go back to our layer 2, apply another effect really quick. It is called Twist. And um, these plugins aren't, they're, they're plugins. You, they don't come with a program. The ones you will need is, um, I don't know if Motion Blur comes. I think Motion Blur com comes with it. You need Motion Blur, Jumble, um, that other one, Twist, which is right here, which kind of just makes the um, little uh, realistic wood twist that is in trees so um, just a little thing there uh, mess around with it again I'm going to make it a little small because the ones I normally see are not that big but just throw it in like that <coughs> excuse me I'm coughing a lot today okay anyways we're gonna enable our third layer again and change the properties the one I think it looks the best is the that. What is this? I think um, glow does look pretty cool, but it's a little too bright for me. Um, we're gonna use X or no, that's that's horrible. Um, multiply or overlay. I think we're gonna use overlay. We'll use overlay. <coughs> All right. So now we need to merge our layers and merge them down like that so there we go uh, you could leave it here this does 
in my book look like hardwood besides the bottom it's a little bright but you could fix that but um, in this one if you want to make it like this with blocks and stuff I'll show you how to make that really quick um, we go to effects um, render I think is it render uh, nope it is not render it is J uh, distort and jumble that is right there and it makes that crazy thing right there whoa um, this is where you can choose the amount of horizontal blocks you want uh, to paste de depended on what kind of effect you're going for you can make it look like that which is terrible some sort of camp camo ah oh, sorry about that again um but uh yeah just mess around with this um that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'm going to play black ops uh thank you for watching this has been eat sleep from the techies be sure to check out the techies website for great game and software reviews as well as a database of all techies videos also Please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.